And when we were just beginning realizing how AI is changing teaching, what I had done is I had created a custom chatbot for one of my courses, um, in particular for one of my online courses, an online R programming course, um, where I realized quickly that students would go online to look for answers. That's normal, right? But the problem is when you're learning a new programming language, um, there are different styles of, of you know, using variables and writing code. So I wanted students to get the, the right answers from, from my style of writing the code, right? Because it fits with my examples, fits with my teaching. So I built a custom chatbot that would ingest all of my learning materials that I provided with, and then students were able to ask it questions, and it would respond in a way that, that mimics what, what I would say uh, if I were to respond in an email. Again, it was an online class, asynchronous. So students, you know, they didn't see me in the classroom, and they would write me emails with questions. But then, let's say, if they write me an email, like, you know, at, at midnight, I wouldn't respond until the next morning. And I didn't want students to be held back by this sort of time delay. Um, so I built this custom chatbot. So they were able to ask these questions and get responses right back and in the same style as if I had written it and if it was coming directly from me.